Hey guys, how's it going? This is going to be a quick compilation of some great ways to generate energy for free. With an asterisk at the end there, because people are going to argue with me anyways. But really, I am going to list down everything to help you find a method or strategy for solving any sort of energy problems you may have right now. Doesn't matter if you're new to the game or have a few thousand hours on your Steam account. Though the latter will probably not find anything new and revolutionary from this video. And don't worry, it's not gonna be about that new arcane, Arcane Steadfast, although it is a decent way to mitigate energy problems, albeit with some limitations. I am also not going to just recommend you stuff energy siphon in your builds in case that was a concern, though my focus will be on energy generation for Warframes, and it will be things that are applicable with pretty much any frame, so basically universal methods that emit frame or game mode specific things like Trinity's Energy Vampire, Arcwing, Conclave, and stuff like that. Here is a quick cheat sheet you can take a screenshot of. I've listed everything that will be explained in this video and categorized them in terms of difficulty in acquiring that I thought were appropriate. There's really only two arcanes that help generate energy for Warframes, first one being Arcane Energize of course, which is not exactly easy to procure, although everyone who went through the hell of Scarlet Spear probably has multiples of rank 5s. A maxed out Arcane Energize currently starts anywhere from 1800 to 2000 plats on Warframe Market. Exodia Brave is the other arcane that some of you may have forgotten. Since it is available relatively early on from Hawk and Cetus, it could be something for you newer players to consider, especially if you like using Zaws. I feel like the more experienced players will probably steer clear of this one, and understandably so, because you can only slot in one arcane on your Zaw, and if you've got Contagion, there's really no argument to not have it on, right? When it comes to mods, however, we got a lot more options, plenty that are beginner friendly as well. The Entropy and Blight effect you get from weapon mods exclusive to the Cephalon Suda and Red Veil Syndicates respectively replenish 25% of your base energy on trigger. And yeah, I know the weapons those mods are for kinda suck, but not all of them though. Stuff like the Supra and Mire are probably still viable for most of the star chart. If you don't like using those weapons, then there's Energizing Shot and Sharpshooter for a more broad range of gear. The great thing about the uh, Sharpshooter mod is that it works even with channeled abilities, so worth a try on your Vectis or Rubico, of course at the sacrifice of some DPS. If you don't like messing with weapon builds, then there are Warframe mods like Equilibrium and Hunter Adrenaline slash Rage. The latter two are probably going to be the go-to for newer players, though you're only going to want to put them on frames that can take several hits without flinching. Namely Nidus and maybe an Aros, but what are you gonna do with a bunch of energy on an Aros? Spam Pocket Sand? Perhaps. I kinda do that sometimes. For those of you who are already familiar with Sentinels and Companions, Death Cube or Death Cube Prime with the energy generator mod it comes with is absolutely awesome. And not as straightforward as Arcane Energize, but since it drops the energy in the form of orbs for you to pick up, this can synergize really well with things like energy conversion. This next section is going to cover the helmet system and abilities you could subsume for free energy, with an asterisk. That means you're going to want to have installed a helmet segment, available from Kermoros in the Necrolisk. That's all related to the massive Heart of Deimos questline, so I'm not going to spoil too much. The first ability that needs to be mentioned is Protea's Dispensary. This basically solves energy problems for good, and if you don't consider it technically free because you gotta spend energy for the ability to get energy, it's really close, no? Because there's no other alternative. Only two other abilities that help with energy regen but not provide energy directly, like Voracious Metastasis and Grendel's Nourish. If you still have yet to see anything you like, may I interest you in the school of Xenuric, good sir? And don't worry, I'm not a Xenuric stan, but if you don't really care for Majorai's Void Strike or Neramon's Power and Affinity Spike, Xenuric is also one of the few things in this game that solves energy problems. Both Energy Pulse and Wellspring go hand in hand to not only make energy abundant for you, but also your teammates. It's great. Finally, some miscellaneous bits of info you could exploit to your advantage. Sentience when killed will drop cores that instantly refresh your energy pool, and those laser firing orbs you see in void missions also replenish your energy if you happen to be using a prime frame. But really, you could just ignore everything I've said in this video up to this point and adopt the real solution for energy problems. Spamming energy pizzas. Yes, I know you can't spam them in places like Archon Hunts, but with the large one, you kinda don't need to, so yeah. 
Let me know down in the comments if you found this video helpful and if I missed some other way to make free energy, please feel free to share down in the comments as well. I'd appreciate that a lot. Discord, merch store, and Patreon links in the description. Thanks so much for watching guys, have a good day.